I want nothing more than to be with Hazel when our baby arrives. But I gotta convince Pearson to let me back in the fight. I'm doing it to find Zuss, cause he'd do the same for me. If I don't make it home, well, just watch over him, Paul. Oh, oh, what are you doing here? What's it look like? Suicide. Hey, I wouldn't go in there. Pearson's been hitting the sauce. Thanks for the warning. Guys, I've brought my manly bravado. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not giving up on Zussman. Tell it to the chaplain, because I got no room for a second. Who can't follow orders? You weren't following orders when you refused to abandon those boys at Kazarain. What did you just say to me? You heard me. You better leave while you can still walk. Davis told me it wasn't your fault. You were only trying to do right by your platoon. <sighs> Get out! I'm not going anywhere. I said get out! Uh, uh, God damn it! My orders were to fall back, but I just couldn't leave them. I told my men we were gonna hold this pass until reinforcements got here, but they never came. They never came. So I guess you're right. I did get my men killed. No go. Not without my platoon. <sighs> you think you got some guts, don't you? Try getting the job done day in and day out while your men are dying all around you. Turner would have never given up like Turner this. Turner is dead. Then make that mean something! No sacrifice too great! You don't know anything about sacrifice! How about this? Honorable discharge paper signed by Davis. My ticket home. I could have had everything. A hero's welcome. My girl in my arms. Hell, even a bronze star. Well, uh, you could have still kept that, but you know. I got one last mission. You must be crazy. Crazy ain't the half of it. I fall in. Sergeant? I said fall in, goddammit. If you want in, now's the time. Get the fuck out of my way. Well, I guess the gang's all here. Not yet. Not all of us. Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Yes, Corporal. <laughs> Can't believe he ripped up the fucking papers. I... Does an honorable discharge get invalidated if you Sussman's rip up the paper alive. talking He's about it? Across that bridge. We just gotta take it first. It's not like the people forget about it. All right, there she is, the last bridge over the Rhine. We get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We'll bust him open. Look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Well, it's a good thing I didn't know anything about those fucking guys. Or those guys. All right. Monday, come on. We gotta secure the bridge entrance. Yes, Sergeant. Come on! Hey, don't make me regret giving you a second chance. You know I won't. Let's move. You know, I am, like, a hyper-lethal person in this war. I've killed a lot of fucking Nazis over the courses of this game. So, even just having me standing around doing nothing is already doing better than anybody else. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill behind the tank, alright? I don't know what its name is, does it have a marking? You got a whole lot of war damage. Oh, 
Oh boy. I'm pushing up with the tank. I can't let it get too far ahead of me. Guys, I just realized we lost Zussman. I have no consistent way to get my health back. Ah! They got rid of my ammo. They got rid of my heart. My health. Those bastards. I'm gonna save Zussman, damn it! Oh, there we go, alright. Oh, that was Howard. I was like, oh, hey, this is. Uh oh. I was gonna say, we got some other guys coming over to help us. We mean we do. But I was looking at the wrong guy. Jesus. Come on. Show yourselves so I can get them headshots. I got one hit on that guy. Got it? I don't know who I should be focusing on. But you know what? We got a turret! Might as well use it! Thank you for the present, Krauts! Hold on, hold on, I'm overheating. Uh, okay, we're good. Did you see that? The gun just came out like sideways. That was weird. Uh, dismount! Okay, I didn't know if that was gonna actually do anything. Yep, that was a whole lot of missing. What's my other gun? Uh, I got a bar. Yeah, it's okay. What? Oh! Holy shit! Yeah! Sergeant Reed! That's a war hero for ya! Ow, 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 ow. You know what? You're right. I'm just gonna go right back down here. You guys can get a nice serving of a shitload of grenades! Oh, oh, what's the sound? That's the sound of sweet, pleasant destruction. Hey! Oh look, they're all dead! <laughs> <laughs> Styles, I need your grenades. Could use them now. Thank you. I uh, I would like some health as well, but I'm not seeing any. So, I mean, I picked up something. I got one health. But I need more. Thank you. I saw that. Hey, how you doing, sir? Enemy how you doing, friend? Ah. Whoops. He didn't hold his hands up and surrender, so I couldn't have taken that as anything but, uh... A hostile... In hostile territory. Oh. Yeah, okay. On the Get floor! Your ass down. Stay down! We're all clear! They surrendered, might as well go for it. The real question is, do I get punished if I shoot them? Okay. Let's get back down. I was hoping maybe we'd stay up in the tower and do some uh, shooting or something, but no. What? On me. We're heading onto the bridge. We could use these windows for our advantage and shoot at people. But whatever, we're going to the bridge. Crowds are going to blow the bridge. We got to stop them. Styles, what do you got? They're rolling out everything. Just buy some time. We'll handle the charges. All right, I'll lead the way while Daniels and Styles cover the engineers. Ready? Come on, let's go. Let me know if they have any tanks. I mean, I'll see them. Defuse the charges below the main structure. Crowds are falling back. Stay low and keep sharp. Enemy spotted. You got it. Might as well make the first shot a multi kill, right? No, sir. You guys are gonna try and plant explosives, they'll take you out right over here. Oh, you can get out of here with that bullshit. I shot that guy dead.
Come on, I see you. Poke your head out one more time. Ah, he's gone. Yeah, it's because they're going to try and blow this place up! Oh shit. Ah, we're going to die! Who's down? Who's still with me? Rich Hill. The damn thing held. I thought all men were still on it. Dumb bastards. Get up! Keep moving! We still got a job to do! Oh, I don't think this bridge is gonna hold on for too long. Daniel! You get up the artillery! Zero win! Yeah, great, but Listen. let's get over the bridge first. Please. Oh no. They're trying to finish the job! Sergeant! Give me the position! Oh boy. It's okay if I slow down time. I can kill everything. Who the fuck is that? Oh shit, there's a sniper up there. Ow. And fuck. Got him. Get the hell out of here. You have other people shooting at us from up there. I'm especially annoyed at the, uh, the rocket guy. Daniel, you can I can't hear you, sir! I'm too busy sitting here with no health. I gotta get this med kit. Ugh. Toss me that target in smoke. Hey, you wanna see I'm something that you. makes no sense? Let, we're gonna bomb this bridge while we're already still on the bridge. Oh, oh. Hold on now. I don't even know if I killed anybody. Toss smoke it up! Smoke grenade. I smoke grenade. Oh, god damn it. I got hit by a rocket. Fucking Panzer Shreks! <sighs> I wonder what a FG-42 does. Wow, that went a whole lot of nowhere. That hit something. Uh-oh. <laughs> we found the Panzer Shrek guy! He's in the truck! Right in fucking front of us! Grenade out! Throwing a grenade! Can you just stay still? Thank you. What? <laughs> I got shot from over there. That doesn't make sense. Oh. Shut the fuck up, Styles. You're not Sussman. Give me health. Okay, we made it across the bridge, and we got checkpoints, so that's good for us. Ah! I think we got him. Oh, you got it! You got it, Sarge, hold on! I hope you guys aren't gonna try and surrender, because, uh... Whoa. Yeah, that's fair. That was a little danger close. Anyways, I was gonna say is I hope you guys don't try and fucking stay in this building because uh Panzer Shrek. Panzer Shrek gets ammo from these boxes, right? Yeah, yeah it does. That's great. I'm glad there are just rockets chilling out in here. One, two, three. Grenade! There you go. 
Whoops. Whoop. Yeah, Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I, I didn't keep on holding the button down. It's fucking aimed down my sight. I almost hip fired him. Ow. Gotcha. Toss it out a grenade! Ah! Oh! That bastard almost got me! Oh. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you had a first aid kit. I'm gonna seal myself up right for your uh, dead fucking body. Hey, look at all those jackasses. Dismount LMG. Reload LMG. And then... No, I can't mount it here, shit. Fine, whatever. Can I at least shoot my rocket out here? <laughs> well, that went wildly off course. Yeah, yeah, it's World War II. Shin rockets is, uh... Sometimes they don't fly as strange as you would like. Now these guys probably don't really matter too much, but in case they do... I would like to kill them. A little bit earlier on. Because you know who's gonna, who they're gonna shoot at as soon as I walk out the door? Me! Because they always do! Alright, I think they're not really reacting when we shoot them. Push them back down! Also seeing if there's any health things around here because boy oh boy we are low! If only they had guns pointing towards their own men, even though it wouldn't make sense. Hey, Pearson. Those planes are gonna take out the bridge. We need to capture those AA guns. That's a solid plan, I guess. Daniels, Howard, on me. Move now. Sergeant, call him out. Grenade out. <laughs> Fire now! Damn it! <laughs> That's not where I want my rocket to go! Fire now! Uh oh, we got guys flanking us. I'm gonna die. Oh, but he missed his shotgun shots! Okay, let's heal. I just wanted to fire my Panzer Shrek straight in the middle of the group. I don't know who blew him up, me or the other guys. Oh, he's still alive. You know what? This is kind of disappointing me. Jesus, fine. Daniel, get to the AA gun. I'm working on it, Pearson. But we got some smoky trench warfare to deal with! Uh, this particular one is gone. It's kind of on fire. So I doubt it works. But maybe it does. Oh, okay. The fire is actually just a little bit to the side of it. So, how about those flat cannons? Or at least just an anti-aircraft gun. Get the fuck out of here, Stukas! Come on, overheated! Get the fuck out of here! Stop bombing the bridge! Got him! He's going down! You've got this, Daniels! I'm Please, trying, Daniels. damn it! Got him! Turn left! Oh, that's a lot of fucking stupid stuff. He's going down! They sighted you, Daniels! Got one! Keep firing! Doesn't matter if they sighted me, I'm taking them Stop all out! Them. Although, uh, hey, they hit the glass yeah. on my, my cannon. Not a fan of that. Oh, shit, hey. 
It's going down! Uh, uh, uh! I think I'm out! Oh, Jesus. Are those our guys? Our fly boys are here! Oh, that's convenient! I <laughs> couldn't shoot anymore. Not done yet! On me! Let me know their position! That's a lot of fucking guys. Hey, hey, law! Come on! Where's that target in smoke? Damn it, they just keep on fucking tossing explosives and shit. That oh, I have a checkpoint right next to him, too. Fuck. Ah, just run away! Okay, so I wanted to use Halo's uh, mortar, Smoke and I'm still gonna try. It just it takes a little bit of effort. Toss me that target, smoke. Okay, now I back the fuck up. I think we got a good portion of them. Not all of them, but a good portion. That's Howard. Don't want to shoot Howard's head off. Okay. What do I have? I still have the shotgun. Meh. Let's play this fucking dramatic ass music, but I got no health because they took away one of the best characters in the game. <gasps> So it's time to play like a super pansy. We're just chilling back, firing one at a time. Not even giving a shit about headshots. My goal is just to shoot constantly at one person in particular. Good, because I'm tired of getting fucking bombed. Look at this guy in the MG that no one was shooting at. Oh, ooh, I should be dead. I should be dead. You know what? Here, have an explosive. Lob it a grenade! That didn't even kill him. That guy's a trooper, holy shit. What I'm probably supposed to do is run up to that Raladier squad position thing and then we can continue on but uh now i'm running around looking for health because holy shit look at what we got this is one of those few moments where i miss having uh regenerating health Ugh. what was that a luftwaffle drilling oh it's a sawed off shotgun okay, Get out of here. okay. Hey guys, I'm here. I rallied with you. Ah! I think that was scripted. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd just be on the floor and he's like, oh, you fucked up. Uh, oops. <laughs> I held off a little bit because I'm like, what if it's Zussman forced to fight against all of us or something? I don't know what's a better gun. Okay. So now that we know what's about to come over to us, we're gonna just use an assault rifle for this. And just crawling to the, the scripted point. Okay. <laughs> Car 98's not the best thing to use on a guy who's rushing right in front of you. But it looks like it's going to force me to use it anyways. Oh, 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 Sherman action! Fuck him up! 
I think they're all dead already. Enemy spotted! They're coming out! Everyone stand down! Stand down! They're surrendering! It's over. <laughs> yeah, I hope. It's over. You never know, they could have like tried to pull out grenades and things like that. Just suicide run on us. Crazy fucking people. The bridge is ours. Corporal Lowry. I believe I owe you an apology. You owe me a hell of a lot more than that. Come on through. Just made history, fellas. Worst across the run. What you looking at, Fritz? There are reports of POW camps in the area. Davis has ordered us to wait for authorization before conducting a sweep. But I guess you know what to do with Davis's orders. Copy that, Sergeant. All right. Proud our platoon held the first bridgehead on the Rhine. Now our convoy's rolling into the heart of Germany. They say war's as good as won. Not to me. Not while Zuss is out there. I better find Zuss and he better be totally somewhat okay. Maybe a little bit psychologically damaged from being in a concentration camp with the Nazis, but somewhat okay. Epilogue. After leaving the bridge on our mission east, we searched camps along the way. I thought I knew what cruelty was. I didn't know anything. But one thing's for certain. What I saw will stay with me forever. Survivors said that the other POWs, including Zussman, had been taken to a smaller camp three hours east. All I could do was hope he somehow made it. Last one. This looks more like a labor camp. Come on. Objective find Sussman's deserted. Just because it's deserted doesn't mean people aren't still locked up in here. The Germans might have given up on it, but that don't matter none, right? Just left. There's a barracks over there. Daniels, you and Styles check it out. I yellow with me. You know, I'm surprised they didn't just actually make us go to each and every concentration camp, you know, to like scar the players. Show us some atrocities of war. I know we're here now, but they could have done a good bit of it. Guys? Okay, I'm not seeing dead bodies. Yet? For our guys. Take out your camera. Oh shit. The world's gotta know. Oh no, what if Zussman's in there? They had him living worse than animals, from the looks of it. They were beaten, starved, and worked to the bone. What are they going to dramatically reveal what happened to Sussman? Oh, rats. That's not a, a great sign of conditions here, right? No, no, you can't do that. Nope, those just gotta be other guys. The Nazis had murdered our boys in cold blood, and no fire in hell could burn away the stain. I'm guessing it's, they made an example out of them. It's still bad, but I don't want it to be Zussman. That's our at least personal tie to the place. They'd slaughtered the weakest, anyone that was slowing them down. Daniels. 
Lead to the fields. That's where they must have marched them. And that's where we're going. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Corporal. I made a promise to Sussman. We'll find him. I just can't guarantee we'll find him alive. Okay. So I'll take point. We didn't find his body first, so that's good. Oh, we got a Sussman! rendered cutscene. Red! Red! Take the shot! Everything's coming full circle. All I've done. All I wish I'd done. It's like my whole life is leading to this moment. We need to head home, baby brother. Paul! You died right there in the snow. Oh shit, he did die! All because I couldn't. Couldn't. Damn it. I'm coming, Zussman. You're not gonna die, brother. Not now. Not today. I kind of like guessed, because one of the shots we saw of him earlier when we were kind of hallucinating had him like as young as we saw him before. I'm like, that can't be right. So are we going to find Zussman about to get executed or something? Because I'll take that shot on the Nazi Zussman! immediately. I hear them. Zussman. Zussman up close, buddy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh no, you fucking don't! Wow, did we get here just in time to save only Zussman? Fuck. Is it over? I must be dreaming. What'd they do? Thought you were left behind. I don't want to die alone out here. Drink some. Easy now. Okay, come on, let's get on here. Into the jeep, come on. You always looked out for me, Paul. And I reckon you did today. Because there's only one thing that keeps you going on that long march. And that's having your brothers beside you. When history called, you answered. From all walks of life, you came to defend peace and freedom. I thank you. And the world thanks you. Wherever your path takes you, know this. You will always be amongst a brotherhood of heroes. Well, this is it, fellas. Zussman wanted you to have it. And you'll need it more than me. You got a kiddo now. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Yeah, you'll be fine. Gentlemen. Queens! Your prodigal son returns! <laughs> oh, you're gonna be okay? Gotta say bye to Zussman. Sarge. Going home, Sergeant? I am home. What about you? You gonna re-up? I've been away from Texas for a long time. You take care of farm boy. I will. When my son asks what I did, I'll tell him I fought with the first. And that crazy bastard Pearson. <laughs> crazy ain't the half of it. If you're ever in Chicago, <laughs> I'll get there. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll surprise you in Longview first. You're welcome anytime. You know, when they captured us, it wasn't just our freedom that they took. Even though we were together, and we were alone, looking for any way to survive. But you, you could have gone home a hero. Why'd you come back? I saw that life. 
just couldn't live it. To the end. To the end. We just keep jumping forward, and then two the weeks after that... This time we made it home, together. I can still hear the wolves, Paul. Sometimes I still see them coming. But you showed me how to fight them. So this belongs to you. Because the sacrifice you made taught me that a hero will risk it all to save his brother. And you'll always be both to me. Well, apparently his his brother didn't die that long ago. <laughs> I thought it was like a solid 15 to 20 years, but it was more like six to seven. Okay. Well, I guess that's Call of Duty World War II. Uh, huh. I don't know how to feel about the game. <laughs> um, I kind of, in terms of my expectations going into the game, I kind of thought it would be a little bit more similar to some of the other earlier Call of Duty play games I played. I didn't, you know, I never played Call of Duty 1 or 3 or World at War, but I did play Call of Duty 2 and Call of Duty 4. And in those two games, you kind of jump from a lot of different perspectives uh, over the course of those games to show the story and things going on, to kind of give you an idea of what's going on in the world, especially Call of Duty 2, since Call of Duty 2 is obviously the one in World War II. Uh, and that gave me a better feeling of, okay, here's what's going on with the war effort, whereas this one felt like it was trying to be more of like one of those World War II movies where you're focused on a single squad, a single platoon of people, and you get to know like six or ten different dudes, uh, and over the course of the movie, or in this case the game, things happen, they bond, some of them die, some of them just get super injured and have to go away, and drama kind of happens. But obviously, that means the story isn't really like real exactly it's set in the real world but it's not an actual historically accurate story of here's what a squad did at some point it's just kind of like hey, hey fucking, what, what can we do well let's let's drive a jeep and do a car chase sequence and then have the jeep go in front of the train and then the train flips over the fucking car and derails the entire thing yeah it was about that point where i'm like e this is, this is not what I was expecting at all. So, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. I feel like they kind of, they do an all right job of doing a World War II squad movie attempt. Like, oh, we're building up a relationship. You got Styles and Zussman and Turner and Pearson. Eventually you even get Howard and they're okay. I, it could have been built up a lot better if, if they really wanted to focus down on that whole squad aspect. Although I would have probably personally preferred doing not the squad thing, or even having like multiple squads, you know? You're doing your normal stuff with Daniels and you're seeing the aspects of that and going through the war, and then you jump to other perspectives and get to learn those squads as well, and you just generally add like another like four, six, eight hours, and just really build the feeling of the game, because what, what is the game called? It's called Call of Duty World War II. It's not like... It's Call of Duty World War II, and World War II is more of a background setting for the game than like an actual focus. And normally I don't really care too much for that, but for here it's just kind of... Yeah, my expectations were a little not met. At the very least, in terms of general gameplay, it's the same old Call of Duty. Uh, you sh run around and you shoot at enemies, and all the problems that exist in Call of Duty 
and have existed for a very long time, at least all the way since Call of Duty 4, still exist in terms of like, oh, hey, you walk out and you've got like five or six dudes next to you, but all the enemies focus on you with their hit scan bullets. And so anytime you have your face just poking out, you're getting hurt. Except in this particular case, they decided to go back a little bit and give you a health kit system, which was okay. I actually, I liked having the health kit system uh, in the game since it kind of, uh, regenerating health would have been nice in a lot of circumstances when you ran out of it eventually, but it gave you, it gave you a little bit more incentive to not run out too much, but at the same time, if you did end up getting hurt a bunch, you could instant heal yourself rather than having to sit there and wait for like five or 10 seconds. I like that general aspect. And I like that in terms of the squad mechanics, everybody gave you something. It could have been fleshed out a lot more. You know, anytime I think of like having a squad, you think of something like say Star Wars Republic Commando. Uh, and in that game, while looking back from a more modern age, things were very simplistic in that game. You still had at least a little bit more of a fine-tuned control of your people. Uh, and I would have liked to have had maybe a little bit of that, although I guess it wouldn't have made too much sense since you are... you're not really the leader of your squad slash platoon. That's the whole point of, like, Pearson and Turner and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I would have liked that to have been fleshed out a little bit more, just so... you... it's just a little bit more fun. But... I like the attempt. At least there was an attempt to have you mechanically in the game engaged with your squad more than you would normally. Although, it's like, <laughs> the people who mattered the most had the best stuff, right? Pearson gave you fucking, like, full vision of every enemy in the field as well as slow motion bullet time effects to kill those guys. Then you had Zussman giving you health packs, Turner giving you ammo. Those are like the most important characters in the game, the ones that we engaged with, engaged with the most. And then there's Styles, who gives you grenades. Uh, meh. <laughs> and then Aelo, the slightly racist Italian guy, he gives you mortars, which I didn't really use too much because I could generally kill people faster than the, it would take the mortar to come down. The mortar was there for you to go grab it, toss it, and then hide in cover, and then look over and see what damage it did. Except at times you want to like sit there and watch the explosions, but you can't because it's fucking Call of Duty and you get hit scanned by fucking everything, right? <sighs> well, this was this was an okay game. This was an all right game. Uh, I, I had people in, in the comments saying that it's a good bit historically inaccurate about various things in terms of like weaponry and uh, things that happened during the war and also just general physics and things like that. Um, I can't comment on that too much directly myself since I'm not really, I'm not really a, a history buff. History is not really for me. So even even they are, even when I have learned of history, the last time I actually did a lot of that was like six, seven years ago because I'm a fucking adult. So I mean, I've been out of school and college for a while now, and so I don't remember shit. Is the general gist, but. In terms of the actual game, in terms of what I can comment on, it was okay. It was okay. I'm not entirely against the whole trying to build up an actual story with like a squad, although I think they could have done a lot better with it because we've fucking been there before so many damn times with the the really angry fucking leader person who wants to be a hard ass. And the reason he's a hard ass is because at some point bad things happened. It's like, oh, he lost his man at Kasserine and Fine, I guess. Yeah, it makes him a sympathetic character, and eventually he's he's a little bit of a better guy by the very end. But let me actually see like the events of Kasserine, and I just there's so many ways that you could have built on it. And even at the very end, they try to like shoehorn in a concentration camp thing, but it fucking does nothing for me because I get more impact from like looking at the word or like googling concentration camp and seeing pictures of that than what we got here in gaming. And that's a shame because obviously in gaming, you have a lot more of a chance to get engaged with the context of things going on. Bring me into a concentration camp. Let me try and escort people out of there. Instead, they just turned into, you gotta save Zussman. And 
it goes exactly how you, you expect it to. You fucking reach Zussman at the last second, you save him, everybody else can go fuck themselves, they're all dead. You don't get there in time for them. <laughs> how cool, how cool, how much of a coincidence that is, and just... Uh, there's a lot they could have done better with this. Uh, it wasn't particularly a great game. It wasn't particularly a terrible game. If I had to, like, compare it between something like, say, Call of Duty Ghosts uh, or Advanced Warfare. Yeah, you know, those are especially like <laughs> one thing that really annoyed the shit out of me in like Advanced Warfare. You get you bring in like Troy Baker, I think, was the character was the guy brought in for that. Uh, Troy Baker's brought into that and he's voiced in a couple of area areas. But not anywhere else in the game. At least in here, we actually had like, oh, hey, our fucking guy talks in game and interacts with people. That makes it more engaging. It makes it more believable. Like, hey, we're a squad. We're actually doing things together. Even if it if it's a very by the book, safe feeling kind of anything and everything. Nothing really left me with massive impressions of anything. I'm not gonna really be able to walk away from this game with too many memories two years down the line. All I'm gonna remember is. We flipped the fucking tank or train over with a jeep, and that was just because that was absurd. Everything else, yeah, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this let's play. Hopefully, it was somewhat enjoyable. Game could have been better, but you know what? That's kind of the story for so many things, especially Call of Duty. We'll see what ends up happening with the Call of Duty franchise, I guess. Since now they're kind of at impasse, right? They try to do the whole moving into the future war thing. People started to hate that because they didn't like jump jets in multiplayer and their stories end up being kind of mediocre a lot of the times. Uh, and now they're back in World War II and the story was... Eh, and the multiplayer, well, a lot of people are liking that, but it's not really my particular cup of joe, so... We'll see how that goes. But again, thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. I will see you guys later.